pressure variation in uh, troposphere. There are two types of pressure variation. One is vertical. The other is horizontal. This vertical pressure variation is related to what? Density layering. If you understand the density layering, we know that here, what do we have? We have high atmospheric pressure. Therefore, you have high pressure. As compared to this, you have a low pressure here. And therefore, what do we have? We have vertical air currents. Because at the low, so when we, where you have written, where you have written vertical pressure variation, you can say that at the surface, at the surface, there is high a pressure. Aloft, we have a low pressure. And therefore, and therefore, uh, we have we can we can uh, witness vertical air currents. Right? We can witness vertical air current. Agar esa hai, if there is low, if there is high pressure on the surface, if there is a low pressure and there are vertical air currents, hum log upar kyun nahi uh, Yes. Yes. So, uh, why, why are we? Yes. One is the gravity also. No? The gravity is holding us on the surface of the earth. So, there are vertical air currents, but the gravity holds us on the earth's surface. This is simple. Comparatively, this is simple. But if I take into consideration horizontal pressure, this is earth. Okay. I have to understand the horizontal pressure. Can somebody tell me what are the pressure? What is the pressure on the surface of the earth throughout? One, one idea is equator pe low pressure hai, a pole pe high pressure. It's a very simplified version. So it's a very simplified version wherein we understand that equator, you have high insulation, you have high temperature and temperature and pressure are inversely related. Therefore, we have low pressure at the equator and the opposite is uh, true for the poles. Poles, very cool condition, very low temperature, therefore very high pressure. It's a very simplified version. That is something what Hadley has said. There was a Hadley model, Hadley atmospheric circulation model. That's what Hadley had said. But uh, in reality, you will understand ये जो pressure है, the pressure, the horizontal pressure, we cannot simplify as much. There are a lot of variation in the horizontal pressure. Q, why? Why should there be variation in the horizontal pressure? Because one is the presence of land and water. What will that do? The nature of land and water is very different. The land gets heated fast, cools fast. The ocean heated slowly, gets heated slowly, cools slowly. So land will have pressure variation, right? You will in, in a desert region, in a daytime, we will have low pressure, right? High temperature, low pressure. But at the same time, in the same desert, during the night, we will have high pressure. This is what you experience in a desert in a day. But as compared to that in the oceans, the ocean does not get heated fast. The ocean does not get cooled very slowly, uh, does not get cool also very fast. Therefore, there are not as pressure variations on the oceans. So one is that. So point that I'm trying to say is that the uh, horizontal pressure, there are a lot of factors uh, that influence horizontal pressure. Horizontal uh, pressure conditions like the nature of land and water. The nature like the seasonality. Seasonality kya karega? Kitna amount of heat aega? So seasonality. Slopes. So there are a lot of uh, things that influences your horizontal pressure uh, conditions. Okay. Therefore, what do we say? We say that uh, for explaining the horizontal pressure condition, for explaining the horizontal uh, pressure condition, we need some models. We need some models. Agar aapko samajna hai horizontal pressure conditions on the earth, you need some models. Why some model? What is a model? So suppose you want to make a building. Right? Pele building ka ek prototype hota hai, model hota hai. What does model do? They simplify the reality. So model is simplification of reality. So because what I'm saying is I have to understand the pressure variations horizontally on earth. Why? Because I want to understand wind, right? Wind, you understand? Because exam, 
तो विंड को समझना है विंड इज वॉट द मूवमेंट ऑफ एयर फ्रॉम हाई प्रेशर टू लो प्रेशर टू अंडरस्टैंड आई नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड दी प्रेशर हॉरिजोंटली प्रेशर वेरिएशन ऑन अर्थ इफ आई हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड हॉरिजोंटल प्रेशर वेरिएशन ऑन अर्थ आई के नॉट अंडरस्टैंड अनलेस एंड अंटिल आई सिंप्लीफाई सर्टन थिंग्स एंड टू सिंप्लीफाई सर्टन थिंग्स आई नीड सम मॉडल्स यू नीड सम मॉडल्स देर हैव बीन टू मॉडल्स वन इज दैडली सेल मॉडल hardly its model of atmospheric circulation and the other is the ferrell's model of atmospheric circulation the ferrell's model of atmospheric circulation so we have hadley's model of atmospheric circulation and ferrell's model of atmospheric circulation you can also write model is a simplification model is a simplification of a reality model is simplification of reality okay